Hi, today we're going to be learning the rules of divisibility from 1 to 6. Let's begin. Have you ever wondered if you could divide a number as big as 3,989 by 6? Let's check the rules of divisibility from 1 to 6, starting from 1. The rules of divisibility by 1 is the most easy of them all. Any whole number is divisible by 1. Now let's move on to divisibility by 2. Is it divisibility by 2? To know if a number is divisible by 2, the number has to end with 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. For example, 200, I mean 2468. 2468 is divisible by 2 because it ends with an A. An A is part of what is part of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0. For another example, 149 is not divisible by 2 because it ends with a 9, and 9 is not 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Now let's move on to divisibility by 3. It says to know if a number is divisible by 3, the sum of the digits have to add up to, to be divisible by 3. If the numbers are divisible by 3, the whole number is divisible by 3. For example, 162. What? So we'll have to add 1 plus 6 plus 2, which is 9. 9 is in the 3 times table, which means that it is divisible by 3. For another example, 398. 398 is not divisible by 3 because it, 9 plus 3 plus 8 is, is 20. Now let's move on to divisibility by 4. To know if a number is divisible by 4, the last two digits have to be divisible by 4. If they are, that means the whole number is divisible by 4. For example, 516. 516 is divisible by 4 because 4 times 4 is 16, which is in the 4 times table, of course. So that means 516 is divisible by 4. For another example, 538. 538 is not divisible by 4 because 38 is not in the 4 times table. So if a number is divisible by 5, it has to end with a zero or five. For example, 965. 965 is divisible by five because it ends with a five. For another example, 679. 679 is not divisible by five because it's not zero or five. 
at the end. To know if a number is divisible by 6, it has to pass the rules of divisibility by 2 and 3. For example, 84. 84 passes the rules of divisibility by 2 because you remember we said in the rules of divisibility by 2. If you want to know if it's divisible, by 2. It has to end with 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0, which 4 is one of them. And to know if it passes 3, you'll add up the digits with our, which are 4, 8, and 4, which equals 12. And 12 is divisible by 3, which means that it is divisible by 6. I mean 84 is divisible by 6. For another example, 116. 116 passes the rules of divisibility by 2, but if you add it up, it equals 8 is is not divisible by 3, which means that it is not divisible by 6. So even though it passed the rules of divisibility by 2, it didn't pass the rules of divisibility by 3, which means it is not divisible by 6. Thank you for watching my video. Click the like and subscribe button. Tell me how you do it, your divisibility rules from 1 to 6. Is it good or bad? Tell me in the comment below. Click the notification button to, to know when we upload new videos. Bye!